Let's turn our attention now to ice hockey because the Whitley Warriors' start to the season has been quite literally perfect because they've got five wins out of five in North Division 1. 18 goals scored, just four conceded. So I suppose not quite perfect. Then they could have done with four clean sheets. But then we'll, we'll, we'll gloss over that. Very unusual in ice hockey. All this under a brand new head coach who I'm delighted to say joins us on the line now. Tony Hand, welcome to the programme. Oh, yes, thanks for having me. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. Um, things are going pretty well, it's fair to say, Tony. Yeah, the guys have done fantastic so far. Uh, they've been, they've been obviously, uh, getting the start of the season, we had a couple of games against Billingham, and, and obviously there's local rivals who have got this uh, the Sunday. Uh, but we've played in a couple of exhibition matches. were very tough, very tough games. Uh, but luckily enough, the last five league games we've been fortunate enough to win them all. Uh, and I can say the guys have been brilliant. We've had quite a Obviously, a few injuries to, to deal with, like probably a lot of other teams. But yeah, I can't complain. The guys, uh, as you say, they've, they've stepped up to the plate and uh, got the five wins. It's your first season in charge there. I mean, you followed in the footsteps of, of David Longstaff, who's a, a bit of a club legend as a, as a player and then as a coach as well. Um, so, you know, he'd been there a, a good while. How have you found it following him and the sort of transition that you've made? You obviously want to do things your own way. How's it been for you? Uh, it's been fine. I know. I know. I know David really well. A good friend of mine. I've played with David for a number of years with at Sheffield and also Great Britain. Uh, I know he done a great job whilst he was there. Uh, but obviously, when when I come in, I've got going to have obviously a few different ideas and uh, obviously uh, a, few, a few sort of uh, different lineups or different uh, lineup selections. And uh, obviously, it's I'm just sort of finding. I'm still finding out a little bit about the players as well. Uh, because obviously when you're getting get a new team as much as uh, ice hockey is not like you've got uh, there's always so many moving parts and uh, I'm sort of getting a grasp of the players now and I get a grasp of the lines and, and even the league itself uh, was it was initially uh, just to figure out which teams of which players uh, but yeah it, it's been it's been good it's been it's been really enjoyable so far and there's no automatic promotion, is there, from Division One? Although your know, long term, the club's long term nemesis, if you like, the Solway Sharks, they moved themselves up to the National Division for, for this season. So, what are your motivations and ambitions for this season, and perhaps beyond that with the Warriors? Uh, I think initially uh, it's basically just it's, it's to win trophies for for not just mm-hmm. just for the players, but for the fans and obviously. Uh, everyone involved in the in the club, again, the, the the sponsors, the volunteers, uh, and I think when you when you start a season, the the whole point of the season is is to be successful, uh, and we want to make sure that can we are winning we are winning the trophies, or at least we're given the opportunity to at least compete for trophies. So short term, that's really what what we're about, uh, and then long term, it just it depends. Can we we don't that's the uh, only team we run it on behalf of the Ice Rink, the Smiths, who have been fantastic so far. Uh, so obviously, once the, the season finishes, and then they can sort of reflect on what can how the seasons went, and then they can decide whether they would like to move up or stay where they are. But uh, I think, as you say, it's it's just it's just this time. It's just making sure that we consolidate in our own league and, and do well this year. Because I think this year there were a few games behind trying to win the league, uh, and then obviously Sol- Solway uh, had, a, had a great team last year, uh, and I think I think what they finished third. Uh, but I think it's important for us to sort of get at least get in that scenario that we're competing for every competition, uh, and that's in the short term for us uh, as, as a team. They're a famous name in, in ice hockey, and you say that you know David Longstaff well, so he probably kind of knew about Whitley Bay a bit through through them, and obviously you you know in your career you'll have played against them many times. Who uh, you talking about, David David Longstaff? Yes, it's a play- Oh yeah, D- David. Yeah, David's a fantastic player. Uh, he's probably one of the best players that Britain's uh, ever produced, uh, and uh, he was. He's he obviously uh, he played for Great Britain. I don't know how many like, times, and he's. He, I think when uh, when he's in Sheffield, I think he, I think at that time he won the Player of the League uh, yeah. for, the, for the whole league, and that's including all the imports who were involved. And there was a lot of good imports in that time. So yeah, and, and as you say, he's he's obviously good. I can obviously done, was a fantastic player, but he's obviously a good person as well, which but, but, I think a lot of people uh, take to yeah. as well. So, so yeah, but my, my point was that you must have played against the Warriors many times as a player as well. Oh, sorry. So, so, yes. Yes. So, so. I've played against the Warriors many times over the years. Uh, like, uh, I've had some great, great battles down there, uh, down at the rink. And I just say, it's a great, it's, it's, I say, it's one of these places that's got so much history sort of surrounding it. Uh, that, as I say, people love to come and, like I said, the teams mm. love to come and play there. And as you say, and, and, it's, and it might be a little bit of, uh, 
get an older an older rink, but the history and uh, all the all the years behind it, I think people just love coming along. Yeah, you could welcome even bigger crowds every week, couldn't you? So sell it to people that maybe are listening. Um, don't go and watch ice hockey. Haven't done it in the past. Um, why should people go and watch you? Why should people go to the Warriors? I, I just think I just think it's a great night out. I think the the, the atmosphere. Uh, if, if you come along, you'll 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 see what we're, we're talking about. And then the players are. Again, you know, I've never seen a bunch of guys who get like get more than a hundred percent each game uh, just to try and win. Uh, and you say it's a right, uh, you say uh, community, not community, but in the area, you've got Durham, you've got Newcastle, you've got Whitley Bay, uh, and I think all the, all these can, surrounding areas. I yeah. uh, just want to see a kind of team that can obviously compete, and if they come along, they'll definitely see that. Tony, good luck uh, for the rest of the season. Thanks very much indeed for speaking to us. I'm sure we'll speak again. No worries. Thank you very much for having me on. Head coach there of the Whitley Warriors, Tony Hand. Season underway. They're going pretty well so far, so well worth going to watch them at uh, Hillheads if you get the opportunity. And um, Steve, I'm still working on getting you some tickets. <laughs> How long has it been? When did you ask? Ten years. Uh, about Ten a decade year ago. ago, yeah. I'm still working on it. I'll, I'll sort it out. We'll, we'll have a trip there. We will. We'll do it. We'll do it. You're quite keen, aren't you? I am, actually. I'd go. 